Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to modify reports in Access, you simply open them in Design View. Once you're in Design View, you can add controls to the report in the same way that you add controls to a form. However, controls in a report are typically read-only and aren't used to actually change data values, but to simply display them. One of the most useful types of controls is the calculated text box control. It's simply a text box control that will display the result of a calculation that you create instead of a field value. And this can save having to do difficult query manipulations just to create and display summary information in a report. To create a calculated field, simply open the report in Design View and insert a regular text box control into the report in the desired band. So it would be the AB button in the toolbox. And here I'm going to create a calculated field that will sum the sales field in the details section for each unique grouping of the salesperson field. So you can give it a label. format it as you would like. And then you can see that the field says it is unbound. That means it's not tied to any data. What you would then do is you would right click on the field or select the field and then go to view properties. Or if you right clicked you could just choose properties from the pop-up menu. But in the Properties dialog box, which shows all of the available properties that we could change for the selected object, we would click the Data tab. Click into the Control Source in the Data tab, and click the Expression Builder button that appears at the right end. That then launches the Expression Builder dialog box, and we use this dialog box to create functions and references to objects in the Access application. Here you can either type in the expression, the formula, right into the box at the top, or you can click through the individual elements listed in the various windows and along the toolbar at the bottom to create the expression visually. So here we would just want to input an expression such as equals, and then I want this sum function, which I can either type or I could double click functions down below, click on built-in functions, over to the right, I could choose the type of function category, or if I just choose all, I could then scroll through the list looking for sum. And when we find it, we can just simply double click on it. Here it says I should sum an expression, and I click on expression, and here's where I would input the field name in brackets. Or if I wanted to make a reference to the field in the report, another way to do it would be to double click reports choose loaded reports since the current report that I want to access information from is open or I could choose instead all reports and select the name of the report here. So either place then I would need to know the name of the field that I want to make a reference to. In this case, it would be the sales field. So I select sales, and the value of the sales field is what I'm interested in summing, so I can double-click value to the right. And you can see it just puts in the name of the field in brackets. So that's the function I would like. I click OK. It inserts it as the source of data for this particular text box, and I can close the properties box at that point. If I'd like to see it applied and how it looks, I can preview it. It runs the query where I can select the date range of the data that I'd like to see. And look at how our report has changed from our previous lessons. So here the salesperson repeats once for the group. It then shows the order ID and the sales amount for all the orders that this person made. And as we go to the next page, you can see it continues on, and it shows their total sales down below. Notice that because this is not a field that is existing naturally within the tables, when we create the calculation, it loses the formatting. You can reapply it, 
but you can't do it while you're actually viewing it. So we would click Design at the left end of the database toolbar to return to the design view. Here we once again select the field and view its properties, which if it's selected you can access by just choosing View and Properties from the menu bar. This time we want to change its appearance. So on the Format tab, click into the Format drop-down at the very top and scroll down a little bit till you can see Currency, which we would then select, close the text box, and if we preview it again, once again feeding it whatever data we'd like to see, notice it's now formatted as Currency Values. Now another important consideration when creating calculated fields is where they should be placed in the report. Depending on which section of the report you place this function equals sum sales, you'll view different results. For example, if we had this exact function placed into the report footer versus the salesperson footer, it would sum total sales over all the salespeople and show it at the end of the report. So for example, if I copy this field, click into the report footer, and paste it, we have the exact same field, but when we preview it and give it the date range that we want to access, notice at the end of each grouping, it, so it shows the sum of sales for the group. At the very end of the report, the last page also has the sum of all salespeople for that selected date range. Now, if you happen to place this in, say, the page footer, you'll probably notice right away because it should display an error. Calculated fields are never placed into page footers. What it would in imply is that you want to add everything that happens to appear on that page which could change based on random variables like formatting. So you would see an error any time you try and put it into a report in the page footer. Page footers are nice for things like the current date timestamp, but we do not do calculations there. So at this point, let's take a moment and look at the salesperson footer field. So here we have the sum of sales. One other thing to note is that if you happen to have a field that performs a calculation like a sum and it's placed into a group footer, you would also then have the ability to set the function as a running function, like in this case a running sum over all of the groups in the specified field. So it would first display the first salesperson's sum of sales and then for the second salesperson it would display both individuals sum of sales and for the third person it would then add their sales in and so on and so forth until the final number would actually be equivalent to the grand total which we can see down here. If you'd like to set that property just right click on the object again and view its properties and on the data tab for running sum, you could choose no, over the group, or over all. And whenever you have your report with the grouping and the custom calculated fields that you'd like, save it, and then you can close out when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.